Hi guys, in this video, we are going to see how in Amazon Connect we can collect the password, right? Before moving, I uh, just wanted to say that if you are viewing this video, if you find it useful, just give a subscribe, subscribe to the channel, give a like, thumbs up and all this thing. And if you're coming from the Google search, right, and you know you must be looking for this solution, just buy a super thanks or give a like and subscribe to the channel, right? So quickly moving to the solution that we are looking, right? Uh, we want to create a, a chat solution where we will be collecting a user password, right? For that, what we will be using is views, right? And do watch this video from uh, completely because over here I cannot export the views, right? So you cannot get these files in the GitHub. So you have to create it manually. Okay, so what we will do is we will name this uh, new view as password. Okay, and we go to the template and we select uh, this one form, right? And there are many things which appears over here. If you want to use any of these solutions, you can definitely use that. For now, we are concentrating on only uh, this section uh, and we don't require all these other sections that we have. The buttons we required. Okay. Uh, delete. Oops. Delete this container. Uh, only this section is required. And in that also, I don't require this uh, calendar lookup. I don't require the drop down. I don't require telephone number. I don't require time. Oops. What happened? Time and all this thing. Okay. Now we have this thing. Make sure you drag and drop this button group under your current selection okay over here and what we will do is for this uh, we will change the style to be in line right so that the button appears in the below after the your this uh, placeholder right now what we will do is we will change a few of the details uh, first is uh, what is that ask password sorry we will name it password Okay, uh, label placeholder, enter your password. Uh, and default place value, we will delete that. Okay, uh, uh, do we require a helper text? I don't think so. Okay, uh, and uh, the variable name. So we will name the, so this is where, uh, this variable right so this is what uh, once user entered and click submit button it, this is where it will be stored right what we will do is we will remove the buttons right uh, we don't require the back button we just want to submit so what I will do is I will click on remove and now we have only submit right and what I will do is I will make action selected as submit so this is what uh, once user click submit appears in the chat rather than the password which user have entered so i will select that one and anything else primary it is by default i think this looks okay right and we will click on publish so now what we will do is i have already created a flow okay over here and what i will do is i will just delete this one and uh, oops not publish click on save and click on a view over here and drag and drop the show view okay and this time we will be calling the password the new view we created right remember we gave the name as password over here you can see and uh, what is this okay and timeout okay so what timeout means is how many minutes or second you want the chatbot to wait for user input or, or click the save button so i will give two minutes if user does not input anything till two minutes the no match oh, sorry timeout uh, what do you say uh, button will get triggered okay and i will do preview over here uh, just to check so i 
oh crap i forgot to do this sorry so now if i do anything you can see over here right what user is entering uh, so what we will do is we will change this type from text to password okay so now if a user type anything it will come as uh, this uh, uh, what is it masked right okay just publish again i think i have to save first and then publish okay uh, i will again delete one not sure uh, because uh, why i'm deleting uh, you must be wondering uh, so this view we works weirdly sometimes okay so if it is giving you error in preview right make sure you delete it and again add it just a tip i'm giving uh, so now if i type over here something i click submit you can see that whatever the enter i have done is coming over here so i will come copy this one as password click save no thanks so once user click submit it goes over here uh, we don't require this anymore i will just drag in this one for no match for error for timeout everything will go over there and what we will say is let me put password over here and delete okay so what i'm doing over here is let me just zoom so you can see over here so this is uh, from which we get the value of the views and this is the variable which it is getting saved and this variable we created over here uh, if you remember to, 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 to this one right under the name okay uh, let me zoom back so that i can see my rest of the screen uh, what i will do is first i will do uh, we will do two demo right one is uh, saying that whatever the information user has input uh, does not show in the chat widget and also does not show into the amazon connect live agent site thank you for entering your password securely what okay Click save, click publish, and we'll do a day of testing. Okay. So just refresh. Does it get saved? Yeah. Published. Okay. So what I will do is I will start the bot over here. And so we shall see the password enter your password i am entering something garbage okay click submit what you see is over here it's coming as only submit not the one which we entered and also we will see now that at agent side did i zoom so much click accept and if you see at the agent side also they are not able to see this one okay now what we will do is another testing and this time we will show you how to uh, collect that value okay uh, as i showed before just for the testing purpose uh, this is the uh, process to get the view and from here we get that variable name and just clicking saves just to showcase that uh, if you want to use this password for any lambda function or for anything how to get that value right so, or just to do the confirmation so that is also uh, possible uh, so what i will do is i will just start the bot again and uh, it should give me the same thing now i am entering again the garbage click submit no oh, thanks but you can see that the garbage value now you can see over here since uh, we have done uh, we have displayed that information just to showcase uh, how to collect the value into a variable and how you can display it over here okay so yeah this is how we can collect a password in uh, amazon connect using the view okay and give a try and let me know how it goes thank you for watching this video do give a like
and subscribe if you find this useful thank you have a nice day